So the myth is, at least according to Hollywood, as long as you have one of these, <coughs> you can always and without fail get out of a pair of these. We're calling it Handcuff Houdini, and here's how it's gonna work. Welcome to my interrogation chamber, or the test station for this myth. Holy This is gonna be awesome! I have this inner action hero that is dying to come out. I will be bringing each candidate, one by one, into this chamber, sitting them down, and then handcuffing them. I feel like this is gonna be kind of impossible because handcuffs are designed to not be taken off easily, especially with stuff that you would have on hand like a bobby pin. From there, they have just eight minutes to get out with the bobby pins provided. Honestly, I'm wondering if eight minutes is enough time for me to gnaw my own arm off. Now, which is your non-dominant hand? Left hand. This one. Left. They're both dominant, man. Their confidence in their own ability. Can I get out in eight minutes? Probably not. And the plausibility of the myth covers the full spectrum. I think given eight minutes to try to escape, if it's just the handcuff and the bobby pin, I got pretty good odds. All right, start the clock in three. Honestly, I'm just gonna copy what people have done on TV. Two. Which is put something in the hole and play around a little bit. One. Okay, let me take a second. The key goes in here, they put the key in, and they turn it. So that means it's gotta be engaging something. All right, four minutes left, Alan. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah! Woo With Martin, and now Tracy, free oh! from incarceration. I can't believe I freaking did that! Holy crap! Good job. Jeez. I can totally be in an action movie. The myth is inching towards plausible. Three minutes. And here's Deviant, our devious expert, to explain why. The large bow arm that swings around has teeth. Those teeth interact with teeth on this red ratchet that's called the paw. Now, when someone sticks their key in a cuff, all they're doing is hooking that paw and pulling it down away from the bow. You can do that with just about any small piece of metal. And there you are. And you're out. All right, results time. The myth was that using just a bobby pin, you could reliably get out of a set of handcuffs without much experience. And because five out of the seven of you did escape, we're gonna call this myth plausible.